All right, my fighters, so today we are going to talk about the unique gauge that we got actually leaked from the data mine, and until now we didn't see it. We already saw the other ca uh, the other card, which was actually the Half Ultimate Half Awakened Art, and we saw what they meant with, and it was just trash. However, this is a unique gauge. They can't actually do anything wrong with this. They can't go wrong with this one. So. Is the Ultra of Part 3 going to have actually this unique gauge? This is what we are going to discuss and who could this character be as well. But before we start, don't forget to subscribe my channel and turn on the notification bell beside it to stay notified with everything new about Dragon Ball Legends. And if you enjoy the video, make sure to hit that like button and share the video with your friends to support the channel. Now without any further ado, let's just get started. So first of all, if you don't know about this unique gauge, we actually got it leaked. Uh, from the data mines before the start of the Legends Festival and we thought that it is going to be for the Super Saiyan 4s where they fuse into Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta and Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta is going to have some type of, uh, of glass uh, uh, clock as you can see and uh, this is going to be actually or glass hour and this is going to be basically his timer for the fusion and then he is going to de defuse uh, just like what happened actually in the anime uh, however unfortunately it wasn't for him and then we thought that maybe the characters that are coming for part 2 they will have it and unfortunately once again it wasn't for them so the last year the same thing happened actually uh, the legends before the legends festival 2021 we got a unique gauge leaked and that was the punch unique gauge and we thought that it is going to be for one of the Legends Limited characters that we are going to get during the, um, during the first part of the Legends Festival, but unfortunately it wasn't for any of them. So then we thought that it was actually fake, until the Ultra character on the Christmas celebration, which was Ultra Super Gogeta, came and the, guess what? He had it! So it might be the same thing happening here as well, they might have actually done the same thing. And the Ultra that is coming on the Christmas celebration might be the character who is going to have this glass, uh, glass hour or whatever it is. Now if that Ultra is going to have this unique gauge, who could that Ultra be? Well, there are actually multiple choices and by the way this uh, unique gauge had two different uh, pictures. One of them is grey and the other one is uh, purple. It's safe to assume that it is purple when it is filled up and then it goes grey when it is actually uh, completely empty. Anyways, we don't know, we still don't know how it is going to work, what, is it, what it is going to do, so that's why it's actually too soon to uh, try to predict what it is going to do, but from, its, uh, from, its, from how it looks, uh, it, it might be actually some timer for a fusion mechanic or some timer for some kind of card that we are going to, to draw once it's actually empty. But we will see what they are going to do with it. However, who the character could be? Well, the first one is Vegito Blue. And why Vegito Blue, you ask? Well, it is because of the fact that some people think that part 2 is actually the say is going to continue with the theme for part three as well, and therefore since we got actually future Trunks saga for part one, it is pretty safe to assume that part three as well might have actually future Trunks saga. And in case you are going to get an ultra from that uh, saga, and it is going to be the very first ultra from that saga, uh, it is actually pretty clear that that. Ultra is going to be none other than Vegito Blue because they aren't going to go with uh, Ultra Zamasu uh, or Ultra Tranks they might go later on but the very first Ultra we get from that saga is going to be Vegito Blue there is no way that they are going to go with any other character from that saga as uh, the, f the very first Ultra we get and they aren't actually hyped enough for the Christmas celebration when they go to the Christmas celebration, they like to go with hype characters that can sell a lot. And neither the Masu nor Tranks are actually hype enough for that. Vegito, on the other hand, is more than enough for that. So that's why 
Uh, Vegeta Blue is the very first character that comes to mind when it comes to the Christmas Celebration Ultra. And don't forget that it is 99% going to be actually a fusion again, because usually they like to end the hype celebrations with a fusion character. They did it multiple times, and I don't think that this is going to be any different. And they did it even with the... They did it with the Legends Festival 2020 with Gogeta Blue. They did it with the Legends Festival 2021 with Ultra Super Gogeta. And I am 100% sure that they are going to do it once again with the Legends Festival 2022. But we don't know until now who that character is going to be. So the first one is Ultra Vegeta Blue. Who is the second one? Well, in case they don't go and continue with the same theme because we saw that the first theme was actually GT the second theme wasn't GT but it was future so or future trunk saga so in case they want to to make actually the third theme different again it could be Sages from the movies and in that case it is going to be Gogeta Blue because there is no other character that can actually be an Ultra. We already got the Beast Gohan as a Legends limited character for like uh, two months ago so it's, it's too soon for him to be actually an Ultra. Uh, and that's why the only character that comes to mind is Ultra Gogeta Blue and his animations are insane. He is one of the absolute most selling characters, if not the most selling character actually. And he is a very hype character and many people will be more than, uh, more than happy actually to see him as the Ultra character. And he is a fusion. So everything is going actually for in his favor and I really think that he has the highest chance to come for part 3 uh, because of all the reasons I, I spoke about. I really don't see a character like Super Saiyan 2 Gohan actually in the current meta uh, together with everything that they did for hybrids. I really don't see them actually doing more uh, and therefore I can't... I, you can actually argue that Gogeta Blue is going to have similar effect because of the fact that he is actually Sagas from the movies and uh, he might be actually buffing uh, Beast Gohan. However, Beast Gohan is built around hybrids. Even though he is a uh, Sagas from the movies, he works the best with uh, Pan and Future Gohan and that's why I don't think that he is going to have that much of effect actually with Beast Gohan. Rather, he is going to have much more effect with, uh, with other sagas from the movie's character. And mainly, I think that they are going to make him actually have uh, the highest effect with the fusions instead. So yeah, basically, we will see how they are going to handle this. But no matter what they do, they are going to have to break some type of the, uh, of the meta. And that's why I really don't know if they are going to care anymore about the meta itself. Because they already destroyed it completely. Uh, but there is still one more character that uh, could be actually the ultra character. Uh, again, if they go with the, with the same theme as the, um, as the part when of the legends festival this time it is going to be none other than uh, super saiyan 4 gogeta and uh, his uh, his ultimate could be basically the ultra big bang kamehameha it is going to work perfectly for an ultra super saiyan 4 gogeta it will work with the name and it will work with how cool his animations should be as an ultra so uh, if they go with the same theme as part 1 of the Legends Festival, it could be basically Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. If they go with the, with the same theme as part 2, it could be Vegito Blue. And if they want actually to go with a completely different theme, it could be Gogeta Blue. Now, let me know your opinion about who is coming for part 3 and whether they will actually be using this, um, this uh, unique gouge or not. Uh, in the comments section below and uh, this is pretty much everything for today so i hope that you enjoyed the video and if you did please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends so that they can enjoy it too and if you got any useful information from this video or if you enjoyed it make sure to subscribe my channel and turn on the notification bell beside it so that you stay notified with everything you know about dragon ball legends and with that being said see you as always in the next video of dragon ball legends